because we are a church that sets on a hill. I'd like to say thanks first of all to God who is the author and the finisher of my life and pray that he also will become the head of yours. I understand the fact that God has blessed this church tremendously through the years. As I stand here and reflect back on what God have done, certainly I cannot recall it all. But one of the focus that I like to uh, highlight today is the brand new sanctuary that God blessed us to have and to be in now for one year. During times that it was virtually impossible for most, inconceivable to others, but through it all and with the power of God, He have allowed Fairfield Missionary Baptist Church to persevere, to prove to the world that even when the odds are against you, when things does look dismal, that if you trust God and believe and allow him to be who he is, he'll bring you out more than a conqueror. As pastor for the last 35 years, when well, God bless us to enter into this sanctuary, some 365 days ago, we stand here today as a beacon in light to share with you, to let you know, our God is an awesome God. As he had blessed us for one year, many thoughts raced through my mind. I would not have time to share with you all. But other than God, who is the head, I'd like to give thanks to all of the members of Fairfield Baptist Church. Those that are work behind the scene, those that are out front. Because there is no way possible I could have done this, or we could have done it, without the help and aid of the Holy Spirit. Most people who know me understand the fact that I stand on the script of Philippians 4.13. I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me. But not to be so biased and not to be so selfish. But when that kind of faith and confidence couples up with a God who says, in me all things are possible, then that tells me there is nothing too hard for God. So today, I want to say congratulations, first of all, to the triune God. And then, second of all, to all the members of Fairfield. Again, those who work quietly behind the scene and those who make some noise out front. I want to say thank you very, very much. We're here on the grace of God, not because of any great work or any things we've done so well, but because of His love. I want to say congratulations once again to all our seasoned saints who hangs in here with us from Sunday after Sunday. Through the weather, hot, it may be cold, it may be rain, whatever it is, you persevere. Thank you very, very much. Yes, we've lost quite a few of our members who have toiled through the battles through the years. But thanks be unto God, He always sends us that which we need. Bless you. Thank you today. And I give God the praise, the honor, and the glory for one full year in the Son's house. But the Spirit of the Lord, yet right. As I look back to where we've come from and look at where we are today, 
Oh, what a triumph. We have come such a long way, and to that I say, what an awesome God we serve. Reverend Ben has been a mentor, a teacher, pastor. Look at the vision. He has realized the vision, and I've been a part of that. We've moved now into a new sanctuary, one year. Oh, what an awesome God we serve. We have truly been blessed, and we kept the faith and marched on. Thank you, Reverend Benton. Job well done. Thank you, Fairfield. Look at our new sanctuary. I'm excited. One year. Look at us. Look at us. Oh, what an awesome God we serve. And to God be the glory. Hallelujah. I've been here for a few months, but the son's house um, for a year now is a, a, a very big milestone to me for this church. And in my eyes, I see it as being a very big milestone because they have grown quite a bit. Um, since I've been coming and then since I've joined and the Sun's House, I believe it just gives Fairfield as a whole a um, more open area to just freely worship and praise God how they want to in their own house. It's nothing like having your own and being able to do what you love to do the most, which is praise God in your own. And I just love it. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord.